A couple months ago, I accessed some scammers' computers, deleted their files. All right, now I'm connected yes. to you, okay? Okay. And destroyed their computers. Months later, we found out that this company is the legitimate business. And since everyone makes mistakes, today I will call them and apologize to the CEO. I ask you guys to watch the whole video before judging my actions. Yes, hi, I'm looking for Mr. Billy Hawk. You're speaking with Billy Hawk, sir. Hey, Billy. Um, you know who this is, right? Tell me, sir, how can I help you, sir? I want to apologize to you guys for hacking your computers. I am really so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. Like, that was wrong. I deleted all the information okay. I retrieved on your computers from my end, so... I'm not going to do anything with that. I Did it cause you guys a lot of trouble? No, sir. Not at all, sir. This happens several times, sir. Oh, you got hacked but several you are the times? First... Yeah, but you are the first person who has called us <laughs> back to understand the situation. So that's completely yes. okay, sir. The coughing sound on the call came from someone who had a hot mic. Shout out to you, wonderful one, you stream sniper. Well, that's not good that this happened more often, right? Because, sir, like, it's, it's a business, um, and you can understand, every, con every person thinks, like, uh, we are doing a cheating with the customers. Yeah. That is a thing, sir. But we, mm. we believe in customer service, sir. You understand? Yeah. There are several companies who help customers also. And it's a business, sir. We fix yeah. problem. We take money after fixing the problem. If a customer is not happy, we are ready to refund also, sir. We believe in customer service, sir. As you can see, guys, they are not the scammer. They only take money after fixing the issue. They believe in customer service. Yeah, I, I did some research and you guys actually help the people. You guys help the people, I saw that. So that's, uh, I'm very happy you guys do this. So that's why I apologize. I should not have done that. Hacking isn't the right way to do things, right? No, sure, sir. That's completely but okay, sir. I had one more question, Billy. Yes, sir. Why did you guys um, keep... Yeah, why did you guys basically write down everyone's um, team viewer ID and password and set up unattended access on we everyone's don't, we computer? Don't, we don't keep that, sir, because we never keep. Yes. If you have, if you are familiar with the team viewer, sir, there is an option in the team viewer to yeah. have an attended access. We yeah. never do that, sir. That is a temporary ID and password that is generated in yeah. the time we are working on the machine, sir. Why was there this file on the computer with all these people's passwords? So that is a temporary password, sir. If you have worked with a team viewer before, yes, you know that, sir, every time the team viewer generates a new password, sir. Well, on one of completed. your computers, I found a huge list of passwords. I was just curious why you guys I'm keep that information. I will take this as a feedback, sir. If one or two agents are doing that, we will yeah. do a monitoring of that and yeah. we will inform them, sir. We'll, it will not repeat again, sir. Okay, that's good to hear. And um, there was one more thing, but I forget. I think in general, you guys are doing a good job with the people. And if you ever have concerns, you can call me and I gladly help out. That is my offer to you to make things right. This is your number, sir? Yes. In case we need any assistance, any help, or if we find any company who is doing wrong about Yes. With the customer, we will inform you, sir. You can you can teach them a lesson, sir. One more feedback I have for you, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. I found notepad files with the customer uh, credit card and address. You know that notepad is not a safe and secure format to save this kind of information of the people in, right? That's not secure. That is correct, sir. That okay. is the true, sir. Yeah. Okay. So you will fix that we as will well? Take the feedback, sir, as you are informing okay. us. If one or yeah. two agents are doing that, mm -hmm. today only, sir, I will inform to my manager. They will uh, do a check on all the system. If something is saved over there, yeah. they will wipe it out. Well, thanks for your time, Billy. Have a wonderful day. You too, sir. Take care, sir. Take Bye. care, Billy. All right, enough. It's time to come clean with you guys. I am sure by now some of you already got it. But this is, in fact, a scam company. And yes, I did destroy their computers a couple months ago. When we found out they were back in business, I thought it would be funny to call them to apologize and have some fun. A genuine company would never claim that errors in Event Viewer are viruses. This is a flat out lie. They would also never send people to Target to buy gift cards or install backdoor passwords in the computer of the customer.
This scam company tries hard to look legitimate, but when we research it, it doesn't take long before they expose themselves for the scammers they are. I didn't expect Billy to take my apology serious though. I told my new friend Billy if he ever has an issue he can call me, and he didn't take long to do such. The next day I had a lot of voicemails by Billy. Uh, this said Billy, uh, doing a check, is everything working good? Give me a call back again on the number, thank you. Now it's time to mess with Billy some more. Let's call him back to see what he wants. Hello? Hi, is it Bill? Yes, you needed me. Yeah, this is Billy, yes. What's up? My colleague told me uh, to call you. Yeah, Bill, we are receiving calls. Uh, uh, the call uh, flooding is calls. Yes. And it just uh, like, uh, but we manage it for say, it just uh, disturb us for say three to five minutes. After that, we manage it. But it's still coming up, uh, Bill. So I think your team might have not removed the number. Oh, no, no, no. That's not me and my team. There is uh, other people doing this kind of stuff. I think it must be Goober. That's his name, Goober. So apparently Billy thinks we have been call flooding him, which might be true. However, I'm telling him it was Goober. Who is Goober, you might wonder? I don't know either, as I just made it up. Goober? Yeah. He never heard of it, like he never contacted us. He, he's, he's a shady guy. Um, you know what, if it happens uh, again, if, in, if it happens again, just say on the phone, go away, Goober, stop it, Goober, then, um, then he will know that you guys know it's him and he will be scared. That's my advice to you. Okay, so okay. if it happens again, just say on the line, go away, Goober, go away. And if that doesn't help, let me know, because it's absolutely not my team. I will, I will take your words here. Yes. That's all. I was just, I thinking like uh, it is in a yes. call monitor, like uh, in a call product system, my number must be there. So yeah. With other companies. So I think that that might be the scenario. Anyhow, and if you clarify, that's good. Yes. I will say go away, Uber, uh, in the, the calls which you receive. Okay? Yes. Thank you so much, Bill, for the hand. Thank you. Have a nice day, Billy. I think you guys know what we're going to do next. Let's call flood him. Uh -oh. Go away, Goober. Uh, go away, Goober. Uh, what? Yes, how can I help you? Yes. What did you say? I'm saying, how can I help you? Well, I I was just wondering if I, how you're liking all the calls. Is this Goober? Yeah. Go away, Goober. <laughs> Record, he recorded it. <laughs> As you guys can see, Billy is a very gullible scammer. Not long after this, Billy contacted me again. He texted me about how much money they are losing because of the flutter and begged me to help him. Now costing them thousands and having fun is great, but my team also did some other amazing things. When I took control of their computer initially, we found a lot of victim data. My team did an amazing job in helping these victims. We prevented over 200 people from falling victim by alerting them in advance and also successfully assisted 40 victims and helping them secure their computer. I gonna let you guys listen to a clip of us helping a victim. The voice of the victim has obviously been removed for their privacy. Is there, is there someone on your computer right now? Okay, um, I 100% I believe that they are uh, what you call a scammer. Uh, they log into your computer and say, oh, you got a, you got a virus on your computer. And, and what they do is they end up uh, taking money from you. Do you know what the name of the person is? Because I think uh, in their little contract, we, we, we were able to obtain a few files. And in their contract, it says that they don't save your passwords. We ha clearly have, have this password list and it's a it's it's not it's not ethical <laughs> we we kind of looked into this company and what they end up doing is they charge people uh to between 400 to 600 dollars and they will uh pretty much rip you off and i just wanted to make sure that that a that you're informed and then b if if you would like for me for free to get rid of these guys i can certainly do that this elderly man asked us if we are with the credit union. Yeah, yep. So we do that, and then we also kind of go after some of these 
um, some of these illegitimate companies. And we just went with it because they are already confused and we don't want to overcomplicate things. What matters is that we can help them. If you want to hang out with us and do calls together with me and my team, join our subscribe stack for $5 a month. If you like what we do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, please leave us a comment on what you think and ideas are welcome. Thanks for watching. Also, here's a couple more great videos to watch.